Welcome back to my channel, and as always, thanks to my subscribers. A viewer recently posted this question in response to one of my videos. Have you ever scratch built a railroad signal? Is it even possible? I assume this viewer is referring to signals that control train movement, either ABS signals or CTC signals. The short answer is yes, it is possible, and yes, I have scratch built signals. But the long answer is too complicated to address online. So in this video, I'll explain how I did it and then ask a question of my own. Here is one of the signals I have built. Strictly speaking, I did not build this signal from scratch. Instead, I kit bashed it using a variety of parts from several manufacturers. This is a single head, three light, type D signal. It has three different colored lights arranged vertically with green on top, yellow in the middle, and red on the bottom. Here is a similar signal installed on my layout. I have programmed this signal to display any of four different aspects. Stop, Approach Medium, Approach, and Clear. Here is a different signal on my layout. It is a two-head, three-color type SA searchlight signal. Searchlight signals can display red, yellow, or green aspects using a single light. I did not build this signal. I received it as a gift so long ago that it came with grain of wheat light bulbs installed as lights. I have since replaced the light bulbs with LEDs, and I have programmed this signal to display the same four aspects. Stop, Approach Medium, Approach, and Clear. Notice that even though I used bicolor LEDs, red and green, I am able to get a pretty good yellow color by careful programming of the LED. Here are the parts I use to build my signals. The parts are 3 seconds inch brass tubing, signal heads, either searchlight style or type D with snow hoods, LEDs, hookup wire, brass ladder stock, platform grating and platform railing, signal head supports, a base, and a finial. Many of these parts, the signal heads, the platform grating and railing, the base, and the finial, are from Oregon Rail Supply, which is now out of business. However, many of their parts are still available. As I make this video, eBay has 32 different Oregon Rail Supply items listed for sale. You can also find these parts at swap meets. See the description below this video for additional ideas on where to find suitable parts. Here is a Type D signal head under construction. The LEDs have been glued in place and the three anodes have been soldered together, making this a common anode device. The next step is to fill the back of the signal head with epoxy glue. This will hold the LEDs in place and provide electrical insulation. After the glue has cured, I can attach the leads to wire and run the wires down the signal mast. After that, it's a simple matter to attach the various signal parts to the mast and to paint it. So that's how I built the signals on my layout, which brings me to my question. Why would you want to bother? I built my signals several years ago, when Oregon Rail Supply was still operating and when good quality built-up signals cost $40 or more. If you read the description below this video, you'll find that gathering the needed parts will be time-consuming at best. You'll likely spend about $20 to build one of these signals, and it will be very difficult to find enough parts to build, say, half a dozen or more identical signals. Instead, consider this Type D three-color signal. It costs less than $20, including shipping. You can order it with the ladder on either the left side or the right side. And you can order it with either common anode or common cathode wiring. If you prefer a searchlight signal, consider this one. It costs less than $25, including shipping. And the LEDs are true three-color LEDs. As with the Type D signal, you can order the targets on the left side or the right side of the mast, and you can order either common anode or common cathode wiring. The same manufacturer offers N-scale and O-scale signals, along with controller boards. These signals are nicely built and nicely priced. 
although I have parts for another half dozen or so kit bash signals. I will most likely be buying both the Type D and the SA signals for my future layout expansions. I hope that answers your question. If you have any more questions, feel free to post them as a comment to this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.